right. I'll take um, both. Okay. First, uh, first, I'm going to read it. It is just this is a justice rally for Dar for Darren Manning, and Darren Manning was 16 year old um, honor student at the Mathematics, Civics, and Science Charter School, and he was on his way to play um to play basketball, basketball at a high school game at Berean because they have no gym, gym down there. And it's at 19th and Gerard Avenue on a cold, one of the coldest days we had. January it was a frigid 7th. day. Yeah, it was a frigid day. He um, he never made it. He was viciously and sexually assaulted by a female police officer. Now, this is what I'm reading and this, this is what I'm saying because I wasn't there, but I heard, this is what I heard on the news. The, 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 there was a group of boys and it was the basketball team. <laughs> they were going down to the gym. They were champions. This is another thing. They were champions. These boys were not messing around because they were champions. They're great. And they they came down. They got off at the subway, and they were wrapped up. They were wrapped up really tight because their uh, their principal, being the coldest day of the year and knowing how children are, decided that she's going to make sure they're all wrapped up. So she gave them scarves and hats and gloves and everything and wrapped them all up. And for some reason. The police came out, two persons, two male officers, and they said that they suspected them of doing something. These are just boys playing around, going to their basketball game. And uh, the two uh, 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 male officers decided they were going to pat them down. And what happened was another female officer who really didn't know everything that was going on, this is what I heard, came up and saw this and decided that she wanted to pat them down too. Now, when, by the time she had come up, when when the cops was all here, the guys, the boys were running. The one young man, Darren, he's from civic school. He knows the civics. He done nothing wrong, so he stood there. And this girl, this um, this woman, this police woman, somehow was supposedly uh, uh, patting him down. I don't understand how her hands got where her hands did. Actually, took her hand and squeezed his testicles so hard that he busted a vein and there's a possibility that this young man would not be able to have children. We're not even sure if he's going to walk properly again. And he was one of the best of the uh, basketball team who was also an honor student. And as you see, justice, we want justice. I mean, we don't want this to just go past again. We don't want the FOP to just hide, I mean, hide for six months and then nobody knows what happened to Darren. Okay, we want to know. We want to know that somebody's going to pay for this. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever... She sexually harassed this young man. Okay? And she walked up on the scene and she didn't know what was going on. Now, we're going to be here. I don't care how long, but I'm going to keep coming out. And I hope everybody that's out here keeps coming out. What do you want? I want, I, I, I want justice, but... That's the one. <laughs> I want the police brutality, but I'm not trying to blame every cop out there. I want the police, not just to protect their own, but to protect us. That's what their jobs are. I think somebody forgot. Has this affected the way you trust police? I believe the past few years has changed the way I felt about police. Okay, I, I will call the police and I, I do hope that they're there, but it doesn't mean that I trust them. Thank you. Stop police brutality! 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 Stop police brutality!